Welcome back everyone to uh, part two of the sessions in Node.js tutorial for UIT. Uh, this is Rob. So one little bit of uh, house cleaning before we begin. Um, there is a slight error in the code above. I'm actually going to set res.render to be index.html and not index. Uh, that will throw an error if you try using this code. So let's uh, go ahead here and create our logged route. So we're going to start out with the same if condition above in the main route, which is if rec.session.email to check if the user is logged in. If they are logged in, what we're going to do is just write out a bit of code to the screen. So I'm going to write out a header, which is user logged in, and a link to the logout route, which we are going to create. And that'll allow us to actually test this once we uh, go and get to that point. So after we res.write, res.end to finish off the route. And now we'll have our else condition here, which is if the user is not logged in. I'm just going to copy this here as well. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll write user not logged in, in case accidentally get here. And they need to get back to the main page. We'll give them the opportunity to do that. So clean up a bit of white space here, and that is our logged route. So we have one more route to get to before we can actually test this, and that's our logout route. Um, so what we're going to need to do here is get rid of any session variables we set earlier. Uh, luckily, uh, Express Session has a function we can use to do that fairly easily. It's called rec.session.destroy. And what that does is it passes in a callback, which has uh, an argument of error. Uh, so if the error is there, what we'll do is we'll just display it to the screen using res.negotiate. And if it's not, we are just going to redirect to the main page. Okay, so uh, that should be enough to uh, let us test out this program. So let's go ahead and fire up our node server and test this out. Here, so let's, something was running there. Let's get rid of that. And we're going to rerun it with node server.js. So everything looks like it's running fine. Now let's see how the page actually works. Okay, perfect. So I can see my form here. Let's type in rob at uitstartup.org. And we'll give any password. We're not really using it, but we're including it anyways. And if we hit submit, it should take me to the logged screen. Perfect, says the user is logged in. Uh, that looks good. So what happens if I try and go here now? It still says I'm logged in if I refresh the page. What happens if I go to the main page from here? So it's sending me to the logged page, so that's good. It sees that I'm logged in. So now what happens if I try logging out? If I log out, it takes me back to the main page. So what happens if I try going to the logged page now? Well, it tells me I'm not logged in, allows me to go to the main page, and try once again. So rob at uitstartup.org, and we'll put any password in there, and once again I'm logged in here. So uh, you can see that if I close the browser and stop Chrome altogether, then restart it. It's making me log in once again. Uh, so that's how you can set up sessions in your Node.js app. Uh, just one thing to note about sessions, uh, they are not useful if you're creating an API because of its stateless nature. Uh, but it's fantastic if you're planning on including some views and processing those through your, uh, through your actual Node.js server. Um, so I hope you like this, hope you like the tutorial. If you have any questions, I can be reached at rob at uitstartup.org. Thank you.